What's up guys, Sense Garcia here and in this video we're going to be reading Samsung Galaxy S3 International Version. Now if you've got the US version then don't try and do this method otherwise it's going to damage your phone. Alright so first of all there's a link that I'm going to be provided uh, in the description box. I'm going to provide in the description box and just make sure that you check that and download it and once you download the file and all you want to do is pretty much uh, transfer it in a folder on your computer and then uh, extract it and you'll actually have all these uh, files the CF root as well as Odin so as you can see I've already uh, extracted it so alright first of all all you want to do now is to just open up Odin so click yes alright here you've got your Odin loaded all you want to do now is to just go to your uh, download mode so to do that simply press the home button the power button and the volume down button alright so first of all we just want to turn off our phone before we can actually go there okay we'll just wait for that one to turn off alright and yeah pretty much I said home button power button and volume down so all at the same time alright there we go and what you want to do is just volume up now it will tell you a warning sign so let's go through that alright and then volume up here it will bring you to the download mode now here you can tell that uh, whether you're actually running the international version or not so and once you've done that simply connect your uh, USB, micro USB to your comp uh, computer as and then on your uh, S3 alright so there we go and as you look at the background you can actually see that uh, yellow uh, box that then that means that we're now connected if it's not just try uh, install the driver of the Samsung Galaxy S3 so install the drivers and then pretty much what you want to do is to just check the PDA box on over here so just the PDA, don't touch anything else and then click PDA and here we go alright so all right, let's go here alright SGS3 root and here we go this is the tar file so I pretty much just click that one and we are now pretty much just gonna press uh, start Alright, so it's going to take a long time. So I'll put the S3 over here. Alright, and as you can see, we passed. And it's now resetting the phone or rebooting. Here is this uh, custom recovery. As here, it's waiting to uh, mount the SD card. Alright. So, so far, so good. Alright. Now it's, it's not going to take that long. should be quick. So if you've got the ice cream sandwich or the jelly bean, yeah, the, this one's going to work anyway. Alright. There we go. And now we're rebooting. Okay. We Android is upgrading. Okay, and there we go. Now I'm gonna change the angle, camera angle, to give you a better look. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, so here we go, guys. Back again. Now if you just uh, slide that on, and here if you go to uh, apps, now you should be able to see uh, Super User, and over there you can see the CWM. So cool up work. Uh, mod recovery okay let me just find super user for you all right here we go super user okay, let me just go back so you just want to uh, go to that and yes you want to continue I believe you can change the binary as well so okay okay it's gonna go back no thanks now we're gonna be uh, downloading the titanium backup Alright, so let me just go to, okay, back, 
Okay, Google Play. Because we're going to be using that one to uh, just to show you that uh, we're act we're now rooted. So because we're going to be activating it. So all right, Titanium backup. Okay, install. And if you actually see that uh, triangle sign when you uh, boot up, normally happens. Um, you can just pretty much uh, get rid of it by downloading the Triangle Away application. Now, I believe you can actually download download it for free on the XDA website. So, all right, we're just gonna open it. It should be a say. All right, here we go. Uh, now we're just gonna grant it. Just to uh, show you that we're actually now rooted. So. There we go. Press OK. 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 And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we're going to uh, go to Clockwork Recovery. All right, so we will turn off the phone. Now, the reason why we're going there is I suggest that you do a first um, backup of pretty much everything. So now I'm not really going to. Um, demo that on this one, but I'm just gonna show you how you can do it Okay, so we don't need this anymore, so we can get rid of that All right, so if you go to if you press the volume up power button and the home button then that will take us to clockwork mode recovery Sold it and there we go Alright, so here you go. Install zip. You can. There we go. Backup and restore. Now, as I said, I'm not really gonna do it right now, but I suggest that you can. Uh, you make a backup and save it on probably internal memory. So, all right. Let me just go back again. Reboot it. Now I'm gonna be showing you as well on how you can install the uh, TWRP uh, recovery. So. Just make sure you stay tuned on this video. If you like my video, just make sure to give it, give it a thumbs up, and leave them some comments below about uh, what do you think about it, and pretty much just leave some ideas of what custom ROMs you want to see, and that you want me to install on this. So there you have it, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.